how important is your faith to all of this? It's no question. My faith isn't a question. I mean, it's just... But does it help you through a situation like this? The faith will help me through this situation. Not only help me, but it will help strengthen my faith. In the Word of God, it says through fire, trials, and things like this, we get stronger. And spring something like this, it really brings out the truth in something like that. I was out there, we were still cleaning up some things, setting sprinklers around, and I heard this roar come and go, and it was still a mile and a half away, two miles away. And it was just like, just, and I looked, I just froze in my tracks. I looked up towards the hill, I seen this wall of flames about a mile away. So I got my wife and children out on the horse and buggy, and we, me and my brother took the loader and a trailer with some belongings on it that we had gathered quickly, took that out, and we came back with a, a friend of ours and dropped us off. We had respirators by then because the smoke was very thick. We was going to stay as long as we thought was safe to try to keep it watered. It was too dangerous, it was too fast. I had to leave. We got the uh, mandatory evacuation about six o'clock and from what I gather and what I seen, the fire went through there 30 minutes later. What did you see when you went back? Something that most people don't ever see in their lifetime. You're everything totally flat. You'd see things like that. Everything totally flat, everything consumed. Here would be a lonely greenhouse and a garden. You could go out and pick a tomato yet in the middle of all this. But what's amazing to me is some of these places look like it's snowy, but it's ashes. Mm -hmm. And you walk through it and it's up to three inches deep. I don't think a wildest nightmare could have dreamt of something like that. That's why you go up there and you, you cry, but you're still at awe of how powerful something like that can be. We're kind of a unique community back there. There's one road back in there, one road back out. Most people know everybody, not just the Amish. We're helping each other all the time. So this is going to just help strengthen that relationship. But there, there's Amish outside of our communities, out of state, just uh, wanting to do things. And that's just the, the tie that we have, that something like this, they, as we, that's, what, that's what we consist of, just helping each other. And it's just something we do. If somebody's place burns down, we quit work, we go clean up. Don't spend a lot of time pitying us. We lost everything, pretty much everything. Just, let's just rejoice of what's still there. We still have family. There's a lot of, pl uh, if that fire wouldn't have turned a little more to the north, it could have took twice as many structures or three times as many structures. So when we was up there looking at 
what the fire done. And all of a sudden, on the middle of this, there's still a home standing. We rejoice. There's a symbol of hope. We, we cheer for the family that can come home. 